ठीक है सर सो outline briefly the main principles of the use of magnetic resonance uh, to obtain information about internal body structures all right so eter answer in detail to let us just quickly review about how mri machines work okay yes, sir so what is done is say there's a certain tissue uh, like you know you can say this is a person's body or whatever because the data scan for structure so what is done is eter it has uh, obviously organic material so it's made of like you know carbon hydrogen and all of these things right so our focus is hydrogen nuclei take us so hydrogen nuclear is uh, if you take one nucleus of hydrogen it does this thing it's called precession okay so precession key it's spinning like a spinning top so so a point at the a point axis is right so this is the concept of precession so hydrogen nuclei precess like this now what happens is what you know the tomorrow protect hydrogen they're like you know they're like tiny magnets and stuff and they're randomly moving zero from each other from zero from move correct what they said but they're going to specific on a pattern like now what is done is step one is a strong magnetic field is first passed through the patient take a set which is uniform so that shop atoms shop nuclei are aligned according to the direction of the magnetic field because these are like you know tiny magnets though so you know the magnetic field it processes around the magnetic field direction take a when you give it a certain magnetic field strength take a it begins to process at a fixed frequency and the frequency is dependent on the magnetic field strength do you get this a frequency ke bola la more frequency m o r la more frequency so what the Lamour frequency is the frequency of precession and it depends on this and if you put a strong magnetic field across the patient then you get a magnetic field does this make sense is a magnetic field another non-uniform magnetic field is given what happens is you know when you use paint and stuff there's a degree of shading yes I think I can show it is so right I don't know if this is being picked up or not but like you know it'll come at a shading hoy, right paint or color mode you get these different shades and everything so it will come shading hoy. so it will come shade the initial as does the field becomes from high strength take a magnetic field a high strength again as does it becomes the lower and lower strength and what this does is protector region care it gives it a unique magnetic flux density take a and what this leads to is every slice of the patient virtually slice has a unique magnetic field flux density and hence a unique Lamour frequency all right that's that that's done it is over motor mode jana thake the Lamour frequency ta frequency koto hobe ei shei so now all you need to do is you need to pass a, another field a radio frequency field over the patient take it and again important thing is to give to me rf pulse johan chaba radio frequency pulse what you do is you give a pulse which is equal to the lamour frequency of one specific slice just slice to me observe kutu chacho say you want to observe this slice this slice is a specific lamour frequency oi frequency to me oi ye korla does this make sense take a sir rf pulse ishabe to me ekla now what's going to happen is eight slices the hydrogen nuclei get excited because when they get excited what happens is they flip money process correct but in the opposite direction so flip correct a excited status should be she contacted by that because it, it's like a rubber band it has to snap back to its original position so when that happens when it snaps back it goes back to its original position but the energy to share by silo excitation is you it has to release that energy as it is de-excited also so a energy to the one release will look at what happens is the radio frequency antenna is going to pick up course you know sorry emit course you know those can again pick up always slice a cool region they get also to cook on basic or a emission to voice you get it so a slice if we were to look at the slice through the section say this is a section time so say you can either connect a region as a where this flesh and say this is some sort of heart tissue blah 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 okay region they get that would fat layer as a skin and layer muscle a region that you're gonna have different amounts of radio frequency pulse money 
emission intensity are different over here, no? because of the number of hydrogen nuclei in that region. And what the system can do, the MRI's computing system, it can actually pick up Kun region, take a Kotoduku intensity. It does it by having multiple radio frequency antennas around it. It uses that to create a virtual image. Do you get this? So this is basically what happens during MRI imaging. Now, I'm going to show briefly the main principles of use of magnetic resonance to obtain uh, information about the internal body structure. So if we see the scheme of this specific paper, we can see the points that they want you to answer. So therefore, now if you read through the points, you will see that they more or less add up and make sense. Kiki, large or strong constant magnetic field is applied across the patient, right? Nuclei rotate around about the direction of field or they precess, which is a precession data. What's up? This is the spelling of precession for him. Take a second. Uh, radio frequency pulse emits which causes resonance. So, I'm not frequency. 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 I'm this pulse is then detected and processed by the computing system, the MRI. All right, and then you can add in this part. Another non-uniform field is superimposed on the uniform field, Eki region, allows the position of the nuclei to be determined. How is this possible? Because now each region has a unique Lamour frequency, and for location of detection to be changed. So all you need to do now is a Eki region, RF pulse could have taken to say. Or can you just pick that up? Takes money. Oi frequency to me dila. Just oi slice theke. So my pulse ash. But you can create an image according to that specific slice. Does this make sense? So yeah. Frequency bolla proportional to flux density. Flux density. Ha. Money ash. Money basically proportional money ki. It's it depends on the flux density. The more frequency jero kum change over. Flux money this strength of the magnetic field and all of these things will also affect the low more frequency. Flux density basically. Ah, you don't you don't need to know that. But yeah, that's it. Is this clear? Yeah. All right. Gallo, Shash. Eta gallo, tomader. A question. Next one question. Well, this was that uh, one. Look at the question. Principles. A question asked. Lo, other eta yashe. Because the MRI. A yek ta question asked. Eta paragraph. Bolat alikhi. Eta paragraph like ba. Eight marks pa. Like so. Okay. Now I I would like one of you guys to read it out nicely. Parhan. Can you read it out? The patient is placed in a strong uniform magnetic field. This causes the hydrogen nuclei to precess at a specific normal frequency. A radio frequency pulse equal to this frequency is emitted which can cause which causes the nuclei to resonate as it excites and de-excites. The de excitation emits a RF pulse which is detected and processed. To create an image, the location of detection can be changed by using a superimposed non-uniform field. This allows the frequency to be changed and hence position of the nuclear to be determined. Yeah, there you go.